production of his holiday portraits, and that's our symphonic band here at the high school. Um, we are really fortunate here at Lindbergh to have a whole lot of participation in every, each and every year in our all suburban um, auditions, and this year is no exception. And I would like to just ask all of you from Symphonic Band that went to those auditions to so audition for those groups, please stand up and be recognized. If you audition for all suburban, please stand up and be recognized. <laughs> Spot or made a participant spot in one of the groups in the All Sorts of Concert or Jazz Bands. Please remain standing. Thank you guys. You can have a seat. So, it's a lot of hard work happens each and every day in this group. Inside, in our rehearsals, outside our rehearsals, a lot of these students, many, many of these students study privately, and that's really a great way to get to the next level um, for any any other members that are not a part of this group or even for in this group and not currently studying i highly recommend it and this contact a band director and they can lead you in the right direction with people that we've had as kind of time tested um, people who have worked inside our program as part of the instructors so just give us give us a call or an email if you're interested in finding out more about that um, this saturday we're going to be heading to columbia all the people that were standing there at the end are going to be going to columbia to try out for the all state um, level of, of bands, jazz bands. So best best wishes to all of you that are heading out there this Saturday from the freshman band, concert band, and from the symphonic band. The next piece we're going to play for you tonight is going to be conducted by the co-director of symphonic band, Mr. Tim Lensenbart. I'm going to ask him to come out now.
usually not back up here, but there's sort of a special reason tonight why I'm uh, joining you during symphonic hand. Um, this band is a very large band, and with that comes a lot of good and also a lot of difficult moments. Um, I don't think since being here in five years, there hasn't been some kind of moment in a person's life, either a student or a family member connected to a student, where there wasn't a, a tragedy. And we've had a few this school year already, and there's one that you might not know about, and it's Jake Coyle's story. And Jake Coyle, fortunately, with his story, had an anonymous act of kindness acted upon him. Um, and he, it started back in August. And this was something that Mr. Weiss, D. Weiss, and I got to be a part of, which is really, really special. And it's been a very neat thing to witness with him not knowing for a while and with him knowing after he received um, his act of kindness. Um, from meeting this person that's anonymous, they may be here tonight, but they seem to have a, a long experience of being a very kind and gentle soul. And I'll, I have a letter here um, that was optional for Jake to read, uh, but also I think he had in here the, the letter, a, a nice easy out, and I'm happy to read it on Jake's behalf. Uh, and I'll start with the postscript here at the end. Um, we ask only that, you're, that you read this aloud at your band concert in December so that others can be inspired and touched by the joy of giving and kindness. If you choose to share this in some way with the world, either through social media or otherwise, then maybe this act of kindness will be multiplied as well. Kindness is such a wonderful disease and it's very contagious. Uh, and he just offers Jake best wishes. He set up uh, to, to re remain anonymous an email, which is, I thought, very fascinating uh, for Jake that he has with Eric. And Jake has been corresponding with this person. And uh, from my knowledge, that other family members, because of this this moment for Jake, he shared them the email address um, that this anonymous person can use. So I'll read the letter to you. And if you don't mind, this will just this will be a moment by. I think it's for a very good cause. And I'm only <laughs> being so serious so I don't lose it up here because it's be very easy for me to do. Dear Jake, in our lives, good things and bad things often happen without any warning. These events come with no time to prepare and with no time to plan. That is life. And the longer you are on this earth, the more you will learn that it is one of the constants we all share. Earlier this year, you experienced an event in your life with sudden and unexpected passing of your father, Brian. Our hearts broke when we learned of this, and our thoughts turned to you. We want you to know that there are no easy answers. We also want you to know that you are surrounded by caring and kindness. To serve as a reminder of all the blessings and love around you, we are entrusting you with the care of something we know will come as another unexpected, but this time, a happy event in your life. In this next moment, a moment that I got to have and Mr. Weiss got to have with Jake, which is which was very moving. We hope that it is something you will never forget and that it instills in you the joy of giving in your life as a recipient yourself of this anonymous act of kindness. We have delivered to your band director, which he is probably revealing to you at this moment, a beautiful and well cared for box thread of various trumpets. This is one of the finest trumpets made and something we hope will inspire you to cherish the arts and allow music to feed your soul throughout your life. Your father cherished the visual arts with his drawings and artwork, and you have found your joy with instrumental music. We do not think this is a coincidence. You may or may not become a professional musician, but we encourage you to keep music and art in your life in some way. The rewards and satisfaction of enjoying and sharing the art you create with your instrument bring joy to so many and your dad would be listening with pride. We hope you will notice many features of this unexpected gift. You will probably notice that it is silver and gold. You can see how the silver is shiny and beautiful, and when you polish it regularly and keep it well maintained, you will see a clear reflection of yourself and those around you. Let this be a reminder to you to focus on yourself with the same attention to detail. I think this part is pretty powerful because this can be extremely, extremely sad 
and it is difficult, but there's a lot of strength in this. These next few sentences and paragraphs that I think are, are, are very great by this person and we can all take with us. Do not neglect yourself because even though this trumpet is a fine and valuable work of art, you are even more valuable and a fine work of art. Be good to yourself and strive for excellence. You can do anything you put your mind to because you know kindness and you know you share kindness. This is more valuable than any other quality a person can achieve. You will also notice that this trumpet is very unique and a step up from the finest produced. One glance reveals the golden features that adorn it. Your grandmother has a heart of gold that you adorn in your life too. You have been wrapped in her golden embrace and know this to be true. You worry about her and share that concern by spending time with her and selfishly. That makes you a good man at a very young age. Never regret this and be proud of it as it shows that you, your heart is already golden as well. When you look at your trumpet and play it for all to hear, we hope you will think of these things. We hope you will think about being worthy of kindness. We hope you will think about showing kindness to others without the need of recognition or praise. And if the future should ever cause you to not use or need this trumpet, we hope you will anonymously find a worthy young person who will benefit from reading similar words written by you. All the best and sincerely, the person signed as Anonymous Acts of Kindness.
thank you again for being here tonight. I really appreciate your attendance. And uh, again, our percussion ensemble will be short, uh, starting up in just a few short moments. So come out in the lobby, get some refreshments, and stick around a few more minutes if you have time. Thanks again. Have a great